buddy, Lawman Mike with www.lawmanguitars.com. Hey, I've got a guitar that's almost as old as I am. Can you imagine that? This has to be a really old timer. What I've got is a 1957 Harmony Hollywood H39. Now, these guitars were made starting in 1952, the year Lawman was born, and they made them all the way up through 1967. Now, you're probably saying, okay, Lawman, sure. How do you know that one's a 1957? Well, it's not because I'm so smart, it's because right inside the sound hole, right inside, uh, where was it? Yeah, right in there it says F57. So guess what? Fall of 1957 is when they made this one. Now, uh, like I was saying, they made them from 1952 to 1967. Uh, this is the one that has the uh, Hershey bar uh, pickup, which they used in like the H44s. I mean, those of you who know Harmony guitars, you know that pickup. They used them in a lot of different guitars and a lot of the early Stratotones as well. They used this pickup all the way up until 1959, which is when they went to the gold foil, which is what we're used to seeing on the Hollywoods. Now, the Hollywoods later on had, of course, the one gold foil, or they also came with a double pickup uh, gold foil. And uh, other than that, uh, it was pretty much the same guitar except for this. When I saw that, it's like, whoa, what is that? So on these early ones, they had all part of this pickup system, this little uh, uh, thing that's uh, very uh, uh, Diarmid add-on-like. Um, and, you know, I'm not sure if this is a Diarmid pickup or not. It may be. I, I, I'll have to look that up for you all. It's either a Harmony or a Diarmid pickup. But this is very Diarmid like how they would add the pickup and they have the extra little uh, volume thing on there. Uh, and then they would have the cord that came out. Now, when we got the, the uh, guitar, I will tell you, it did not have the cord. That's the only thing that we really had to do, except set this thing up, is uh, add uh, the cord to it. Uh, tuners were in great shape. Uh, they're actually in beautiful shape. Uh, the nice uh, Harmony uh, uh, Waverly open back tuners. Uh, it did not need a neck reset, I'm very happy to tell you. We did shave the, the bridge down slightly to uh, help the action a little bit, but you know, original bridge, original tailpiece. Look at this beautiful original uh, uh, pick guard on there. It's just absolutely beautiful. Still has the Harmony on it. Of course, the Harmony Hollywood with the uh, nice little uh, Oscar right there on, on the top. It's got the original nut, original frets. The guitar has been played. You can see, especially up here in the cowboy chord area, they've actually worn some of the paint down and, and into the, uh, um, I don't know what kind of material they used on that. Uh, I know it's not rosewood, but uh, probably maple. Looks like they went through a little bit uh, the original finish. So you can see some finger divots there slightly. Uh, the guitar is not, you know, it hasn't bellied. A lot of these, this will sink down on you, uh, especially on some of the later ones. They didn't brace them quite as nicely as they did on the uh, older ones, they have this really strong uh, bracing that goes all the way back through here that helps hold the bridge and the top up on, uh, on the carved top. And uh, you know, the, the, the painted bindings are still in really nice shape, the back is in beautiful shape. Uh, you know, I was just really happy to get this guitar. It, uh, it came from a local finder here in Des Moines. So the guitar just plays really, really well. We set it up, put some new strings on it, and it just what a great little guitar. I mean, I just absolutely love these Hollywoods anyway. And to have one this early, I was really excited. But plays great. Let's, uh, let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> well, you jump blues guys are going to love this guitar. Wow. 
You know, it really sounds really good too. I don't know if we can hear that. It's actually very, very robust, uh, unplugged. I mean, it's just a big old arch top guitar and it sounds really good. Don't know if we heard that or not, but you know what? If we did, you'll hear how nice it sounds. So the guitar is really, really cool. I really, really like it. But we also uh, put it together with this case. I can't tell you this is the original case, but it certainly could have been. Uh, I've been waiting for the right kind of guitar to go with that, uh, a particular guitar, uh, or with uh, the right case to go with the right guitar, and I think I found it. Uh, this is certainly a period correct. It would be a 50s case. And it was. I've been hanging on to this one for just the right guitar, and that one is it. It's kind of got this brown buckskin look to it. Uh, all the, the hinges are on it. Uh, it's just in a beautiful, beautiful shape. It's got the original uh, plastic handle. All the latches work. Uh, inside is just this really, really pretty gold uh, plush on it. And uh, wow, even the accessory box is still here. The lid is loose, I will tell you that, but it's in there. And uh, it's very, very plushy. I lay that, that pretty uh, uh, sunburst guitar down inside this gold and it just ooh, it just really shows nicely. So you know what, for those of you who've been looking for a Hollywood, how about one that's really unique, like from 1957? Uh, you know what, you just don't find them uh, with that uh, uh, Hershey bar pickup on them. Uh, and like I said, I was surprised as, as anyone when I saw it, like, was that added on? No, that's how they made them. So check it in all of our really cool guitars. I just got a load of great guitars to demo for you this month. Uh, check them all out at www.lawmanguitars.com. And you know what? While you're there in uh, our YouTube channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, and I'll ensure that you see each month our five demos that we do every month for you guys. I appreciate you watching them. Thanks a lot for your support.